Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we're going to do a video on how I wrap my paintings um, to ship them. This piece recently sold on my Etsy store, so you cannot purchase this one any longer, but there are a whole bunch still on the shop, in the shop front. Um, on that note, there is still a coupon code available for my Etsy store. You get 30% off by using Happy Birthday. It's all one word, all capital letters. I'm not sure if that makes a difference, but in case it does, you have those tips. Um, so go check out my store. This one is beautiful. I'm really excited that it is going to a new home. So we'll get started here. Um, it's been a little bit since I've wrapped my painting, so or shipped any, I guess is the best word for that. So with that being said, we will get started. Um, how I wrap them, and I've played with some different techniques. This is the one we're going to go with right now until I find something different. But I put it face down. I've got one piece of parchment paper. That's what this first layer is that will go around the immediate outside of the painting. And then I have a few pieces of um, tissue paper. Literally the sole purpose of the tissue paper is because I have yet to find a adhesive that will stick to parchment paper. Um, I know there's videos out there. I see people literally just use scotch tape. It has never worked for me. So my intent here is to wrap, and this is going to make a little bit of noise, so hopefully you can still hear me over it, is to wrap this, and then I'll just be taping onto the... Um, tissue paper instead. So we will get started here. I may speed you up through this depending on how long it takes me to figure it out. <laughs> That's just a placeholder. <laughs> so it doesn't all come undone. <laughs> And then right now I'm just using this box tape that's just because it's what I had handy. Ideally I would prefer to be using scotch tape because it's cheaper, uh, but I couldn't find it. So I went with what I had handy. And it sounds like it's almost out, so that's cool. But you just want to try to get it as tight as you can around the piece. Fold in these sides. Maybe I'm just holding it too tightly. And this is still the front of the canvas, in case you're wondering, because I have flipped it around in about a few times. So this is the back side of the canvas. said those words. It's bubble wrap time. <laughs> um, I went a little overboard when I was purchasing my bubble wrap and I have a gigantic uh, like four foot wheel like in diameter like if like this tape is rolled up and this big my bubble wrap is rolled up into a four <laughs> diameter roll. Uh, it was hysterical when it was delivered. It was just sitting on my porch. I bet the UPS man or whoever the delivery man was had quite a kick out of that <laughs> when he delivered it or saw it on his truck that morning. Um, so I just have a really, really big, long, yeah. We'll see how much I need. And I just wrap it until I'm comfortable with it. So we'll go ahead and get started there.
this will all help protect it, protect the corners. And then, okay, so the next I get a bag. Um, I got these on Amazon. They're gigantic. They are not bubble wrapped lined. I do have some, but this one wouldn't fit in there. Um, and then just a piece of cardboard. And I also put this against the face of the piece just for a little extra protection. I don't do anything with it from there. I just set it, set it on there and then put it into the envelope. I'm gonna get it into the corner. Uh, and then I also include some other stuff in my pieces. You do get a certificate of authenticity with each piece as well as I'll throw in a business card. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that here. I'm actually going to put the items in between the painting and the um, cardboard just to keep them from getting wrinkled or anything. Um, that will protect them. And then this is um, sticky, but I probably won't use the sticky on it because I want to, um, once again, get it as tight as possible. So I would tape it here. I'm not going to tape it just yet. Um, and then maybe just cut it and then tape it again probably cut it pretend this part's gone <laughs> and then tape it here make it look pretty get all the taping all over it so that there's no like loose edges like even here and here so there's no loose edges to catch and rip definitely want to keep it all protected and then on this side where I'll put the labels for shipping and my information as well as I have a whole roll of uh, fragile stickers that I will stick all over the place so that they know to be gentle with it. But that is ultimately how I will package this up to uh, ship off. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I do appreciate that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.